Hey everybody, it's Marcus here with Good E-Reader, and today we're going to show you how to load ebooks onto your Pocketbook 360 Plus. This is the brand new e-reader from Pocketbook, and it has just come out, and we are lucky enough to be one of the first people on the internet to give full and comprehensive reviews as well as video tutorials such as the one you're watching today. For a full review on the Pocketbook 360 Plus, you can simply visit our blog at goodyreader.com slash blog, and you can click on the Reviews tab here, and you can see all of the reviews that we've done on this device and a lot of other e-readers and tablets as well. So, the purpose of this review is to give you a greater understanding on how to load ebooks onto devices such as this using popular programs such as Adobe Digital Editions, Calibre, and good old copy pasting via Windows Explorer. And we're going to share some tips with you along the way. This is a 5 inch e reader. There's about 2 gigs of internal storage. You can increase this via the micro SD card and you can pump it up. We heard to about 16 gigs, but some people have said that you can get 32 out of it as well. So we're not 100% sure. There's a power button. There's three major buttons to interact with the device. This is basically up, down, you have a center button and a silver. It's almost like a D-pad where you can sort of navigate the device like this. You can surf the web, you can purchase ebooks from Bookland, which is Pocketbook's own little site, but mostly it's only open source Project Gutenberg type books. So if you have downloaded books from the internet or if you've purchased ebooks from other bookstores, this tutorial will serve you well. So the first thing that we want to do is plug our USB cable into our Pocketbook and the other end into our PC. So this is a evidently also the way that you charge your device so if you want to repower your pocketbook 360 plus you need to facilitate a connection between the e-reader and your computer and you can see here that this light is indicative to it is charging you can also see here that you got to sort of transfer screen here and it does say connected to the pc do not disconnect usb cable so we're going to put this down for a moment And the first thing that we're going to do is show you how to use Calibre. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Calibre, Calibre is the premier software development suite. It allows you to have a greater ability to change ebooks. So, to give you an example, we're going to click on an ebook, which is Life by Keith Richards. We're going to edit the metadata and do it individually, and we did that by just uh, left-clicking. So you can see here that we can change the title, we can change the author's name, the series name, and actually the way that it sorts on your e-reader or tablet. It also tells you here that it is an EPUB format. It gives you tags, ISBN numbers, publishing dates, and so on. So. Some people have hundreds if not thousands of ebooks on their device, so having a program like this allows you a little bit of flexibility in the way that you organize your data on your unit. So because the Pocketbook 360 Plus is a new device, they haven't actually put in an icon or anything like that yet. So what we have to do is click on the little folder here. And in order to copy an ebook to our e-reader, we have to click on the little add icon here which is add books and it gives you different options add books from a single directory from multiple directories but since we're only copying one book and we're going to do James Patterson Women's Murder Club 10 and the book is entitled 10th Anniversary so it usually takes about 10 to 15 seconds or so so this book has been copied to our device now and when you see the books appear underneath this little folder, which is, again, re representative of the books on your device, this is on it. So what we're going to do is at the end of the tutorial verify that all the books have been copied there properly. But for now, we're just going to kind of keep on trucking and showing you uh, exactly what to do. Uh, the next program you want to use is Adobe Digital Editions. The reason why you would use this program is if you purchase EPUB, RTF, text files, PRCs, or other formats uh, from the internet, 
and you have to use this to, to copy the, the purchased ebooks to your device. So again, if you have purchased EPUB books from Kobo, Borders, Barnes & Noble, or a myriad of other sites, you want to use Adobe Digital Editions. This helps transfer store purchased books to your e-reader. So you'll notice when you have loaded this on your computer, and again, it's a free program, you can simply just Google Digital Editions, Adobe Digital Editions, uh, same way that you would download Calibre, which is also a free program. You just want to type that into your favorite search engine. It'll ask you to authorize the device, which we have done. And so in order to copy books to your e-reader, you simply click on this little arrow that says library and add item to library. And we're going to copy the book, Lori Foster, When You Dare. And you can see it's here, but it's actually not on the device yet. So simply what we want to do is left click so we can drag it around and you just drag and drop it into the pocketbook 360 directory and then once the loading screen has gone away that basically tells you that it is on your device now you can see that there's a lot of other books here the pocketbook 360 plus comes with a ton of free books so you can actually use this program to delete all the free open source books that came with it so say you're not really interested in the user manual or the complete works by Edgar Allan Poe you can simply click this and then hit the delete button on your keyboard and this will actually delete the book from the device so this is a handy little trick if you want to just straight up delete everything on your device that the pocketbook 360 came with you can do that you can see here that has 986 books on it the last method that we want to show you is Windows Explorer so this is the pocketbook 360 here and you can see that there's a lot of different directories applications different languages and so on uh, just to keep things simple, we're just going to work with the existing things. But again, say if you wanted to delete all of the Sweden, Spanish, Portugal books and so on, you could even in Windows Explorer just highlight all of this. And we'll just do one just to show you. So we'll take the French, right click, press delete, and all of the ebooks that were in this directory are slowly but surely being deleted. So it's deleting 422 ebooks. That is quite the number. So we want to click on the English directory. And here's where all of our books are. So you can see that there are quite a number of them here. Just to make things uh, simpler for ourselves, what we're going to do is click New. And we're going to click Folder. And the next book that we want to do is Michael Connolly, The Fifth Witness. So I'm just going to sort of um, single left click on here where I can edit the words and I'm going to just simply copy and paste the author's name. So when I have created a new folder, I could again single click, press paste, and there I've created the directory. And then all I'm going to do is right click, click copy, right click again and copy and select paste. Now this book is in a directory. So on my pocketbook 360, it's an English directory and then it's a dedicated directory called Michael Connolly. So if I've had an, if I have more ebooks by him, I can simply just have all the ebooks in here. So if I want to find all Michael Connolly's ebooks, I can go to the Michael Connolly directory and select that. Okay, now what we have done is we have showed you so far how to use Calibre to transfer 10th Anniversary by James Patterson. We've showed you Adobe Digital Editions and Laurie Foster's When You Dare. And then we've showed you the Michael Connolly way how to do it in Windows Explorer. Now what we want to do is just simply verify that all the ebooks that we copied over are in fact on our device. So we've just unplugged this from our computer. And we want to go to the ebooks directory. 
Now, when you copy books via Adobe Digital Editions, they actually create a directory here called Digital Editions. And this just lets you know that all of your purchased content is in this one directory. So here's the book that we transferred, When You Dare. And let's just open it up. And here you go. You notice some cover art here. And you can turn the pages by hitting the top button here. So here you go. You notice with this e-reader, page turn and refresh speeds are very fast. And this is partly why on an early Pocketbook 360 demo, they actually had Doom running on here because the, the refresh rate is really good. And contrary to popular belief, the 360 Plus does not have a Pearl display. It actually has a Vizplex technology. So some people were pretty off base when they were saying that it had Pearl technology. So I'm going to exit this book and I'm going to check the James Patterson book that we loaded. And what I did for that is I created a directory called ebooks because again, Caliber did not have the direct support for the Pocketbook 360 Plus because it just came out. So it transferred it automatically to a directory called ebooks. So you can see again, the cover art is here. And we can turn pages forward. So here you go, so this uh, book worked. And the last book that we want to show you is the Michael Connolly book that we did. And again, we created it, oh, our own separate directory for that. So again, it was underneath English. And then we created a directory where the M was first and in the pocketbook e-reader, names are sort of done uh, alphabetically. So again, you can see that the refresh rate is pretty quick. So here's sort of what you do. Um, some people might fall into the trap of hitting this button to move up or move down. The Pocketbook 360, these move up and down more or less when you do ebooks and a few other functions, but when you're actually browsing the ebook screen in order to go, it sort of doesn't, it moves down to go just to this one page, and then you notice it kind of goes up again in order to flip it to the next um, sort of page within English, you want to use your little D-pad here, so I'm going to just press right and press it again. So here's our Michael Connolly directory that we made, and here's our book, The Fifth Witness, so we just pressed enter here to load it, and here we go. Cover art is all here again, as you can see. So again, uh, we hope that you found this tutorial insightful and perhaps even, dare I say, riveting. For all of your e-reader, digital publishing, tablet and slate PC news, as well as ebook news, you can visit our website at goodyreader.com slash blog. We're the leading website to do reviews and these sort of hands-on ebook loading tutorials. There's really no other site on the internet that, that does this. So we're pretty pleased to be offering an exclusive service. And again, at Goody Reader, we don't just parrot the news like a lot of other blogs. We make the news with tutorials such as the ones that you saw today. So for Goody Reader, this is Marcus and everybody take care.